In this video, we are going to learn about animals that live in groups. Lion Lions live in groups, which is called a pride. Prides are typically composed of multiple females, their cubs, and a few male lions. The size of prides can range from a few individuals to more than 30 members, although larger prides are less common. Lions are social animals, and living in a pride provides many benefits for lions, including increased chances of survival, protection from predators, and access to food. However, it also requires a complex social structure and cooperation among the members of the pride. Wolf Wolves live in groups, which is called a pack. A wolf pack typically consists of a dominant male and female, their offspring, and possibly some unrelated wolves. Wolves are social animals, and living in packs has many advantages. One of the main benefits is that it allows wolves to work together to hunt and take down larger prey, such as elk or bison, which would be impossible for a single wolf to do alone. Another advantage of living in a pack is that it provides protection from other predators, such as bears or cougars, which are a threat to wolves, especially when they are young. Elephant Elephants live in groups, which is called a herd. Elephant herds can consist of several adult females, their offspring, and sometimes younger males. The size of the herd can vary from a few individuals to over 100 elephants. Elephants are social animals and live in herds because there is safety in numbers. Herds provide protection against predators and increase the likelihood of finding food and water. In addition to protection and social support, elephants also engage in various social behaviors within their herds. They communicate through vocalizations such as trumpeting and rumbling, as well as physical contact like touching trunks and rubbing against each other. African Wild Dog African wild dogs live in groups, which is called a pack. African wild dogs are social animals that have a complex social hierarchy within their pack. The pack works together when hunting for food. They are very successful hunters and have a higher success rate than many other predators. African wild dogs are known for their endurance when chasing prey, as they are capable of running at high speeds for long distances. African wild dogs communicate with each other using a variety of vocalizations, including growls, whines, and squeaks. They also use body language, such as tail and ear movements, to signal to each other. Chimpanzee Chimpanzees live in groups, which is called a community or a troop. These communities typically consist of several dozen individuals. Although they can range in size from as few as 15 to as many as 150 members. Chimpanzees are highly social animals and form complex relationships within their communities. They communicate with a variety of sounds and gestures, and they engage in grooming behavior to build social bonds and maintain hygiene. They also engage in play, often chasing and wrestling with one another. Honeybee Honeybees live in groups, which is called a colony. 
Honeybees are social insects that form highly organized colonies or hives. A colony typically consists of three types of bees. A queen, thousands of female worker bees, and a few hundred male drones. The queen is the reproductive member of the colony and is responsible for laying all the eggs. Through communication and cooperation, honeybees are able to accomplish amazing feats, such as constructing intricate hives and defending themselves against predators. Zebra Zebras live in groups which is called a herd or a dazzle. Zebras are social animals, and living in a herd helps them to better defend themselves against predators. When a predator is spotted, zebras will often gather together and form a defensive circle around their young, with the males facing outward to protect the females and foals. The zebras may also kick, bite, or charge at the predator to deter it from attacking. In addition to predator defense, Living in groups also helps zebras to find food and water. Hyena Hyenas live in groups, which is called a clan. Clans can range in size from a few individuals to up to 80 or more individuals. And they are typically made up of related females, their offspring, and one or more dominant males. Hyenas are social animals that rely on cooperation and communication within their clans to survive. They are primarily nocturnal and spend their nights hunting for food or scavenging for carrion. During the day, they rest and socialize with other clan members. Hyenas also have a unique way of communicating with each other through a variety of vocalizations including whoops, cackles, growls, and grunts. Giraffe Giraffes live in groups, which is called a tower or a herd. When giraffes do come together, they typically engage in social behaviors, such as rubbing their necks together. This is thought to reinforce social bonds. Giraffes also show playful behavior, such as chasing each other or engaging in mock fights. They may also engage in grooming behaviors, such as licking or nibbling on each other's fur. During feeding, giraffes may also be seen in groups, as they may congregate around trees or bushes with abundant food. Dolphin Dolphins live in groups, which is called a pod. These pods can range in size, from just a few individuals to hundreds of dolphins, depending on the species and the location. Dolphins are social animals, and living in pods allows them to work together, protect themselves from predators, and care for their young. Within the pod, dolphins engage in a variety of social behaviors, such as swimming together, vocalizing, and playing. They also have a complex communication system that allows them to coordinate their movements and behaviors. Crow Crows live in groups which is called a murder or flock. Crows are highly social birds that often live in groups ranging in size from just a few individuals to several hundred. One of the most important functions of crowd groups is the sharing of information. Crowds also engage in cooperative behavior, such as mobbing potential predators. When a crowd detects a predator, it will emit a loud call to alert other crowds in the area. Crowds are highly intelligent birds that are capable of using tools and solving complex problems. Wildebeest 
wildebeest's living groups, which is called a herd. These herds can consist of several hundred thousand individuals, and they typically migrate together in search of food and water. Wildebeests are social animals and rely on each other for protection from predators such as lions, hyenas and crocodiles. During migration, the wildebeests are constantly on the move, searching for fresh grazing areas and water sources. They can travel up to 1000 miles in a year, and their movements are often determined by the seasonal rains. The migration itself can be a dangerous journey, with many obstacles such as rivers to cross or predators to avoid. Meerkat Meerkats live in groups, which is called a mob, gang or a clan. Within these mobs, there is a strict social hierarchy, with dominant individuals occupying the top positions and subordinates lower down. Meerkats spend much of their day foraging for food, with each member taking turns as a lookout while the others search for prey. When a lookout spots a predator, they sound an alarm call and the entire group will scurry to safety. Meerkats are highly social animals that rely on cooperation and communication to survive in their harsh desert environment. Emperor Penguin Emperor penguins live in groups, which is called a colony. These colonies can consist of thousands of penguins huddled together for warmth and protection from the harsh Antarctic weather. Emperor penguins are social animals and depend on each other for survival in their environment. In these colonies, emperor penguins engage in a range of activities. They gather in tight huddles to conserve warmth and reduce wind chill. Taking turns at the outer edges to protect each other from the extreme cold. During the breeding season, they also form pairs and engage in courtship displays, with males presenting stones and vocalizing to attract a mate. Thank you for watching this video on Kidopedia. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more educational videos about animals.